Hey, tube ubers, I got in front of you here today an IED. Ain't she a beauty? Well, it's not exactly an IED. It's what I call an improvised electrical device. Let me show you what this thing's about. Let me get it on Velcroed here. You can see we've got a, a cord what for plugging into the wall and we got some leads some switches let's see what this thing does now you can see here it still kind of looks like a IED that you hear of in the military vernacular you want you got some starting capacity or some running capacitors here and a timer switch it just kind of looks deadly but it's really harmless as can be as long as you got a half a brain about you what this thing here does is charges dc batteries at any voltage and it can actually recover them too what happens is you take your ac main voltage and you rectify it into a pulsing DC current with this diode bridge right here. That's what this um, this little device in here is called. It's a full wave bridge rectifier. I'll go get one of those here in a second to show you up close. Uh, these other things are just capacitors and what they're used for is just to limit the current. If you remember back to your electrical physics class, uh, V, voltage, has to equal current times resistance. So if the voltage is the same and the resistance is the same and your current, or I'm sorry, if your current is constant and your resistance is constant, then your voltage has to change based on, well, the current and the resistance. So basically what that means in layman's terms is you can hook this up to any battery and if the battery is good or if it's halfway good or, or halfway good it's going to put out whatever voltage is necessary to charge the battery for example if you have a really poor lead acid battery one that's been discharged for a long time and is zero volt it's going to have a very high resistance due to calcification of the lead plates this thing here will, once I attach these leads, it will put out as much voltage as necessary to get through the resistance, as it were, you know, to actually send a current, a charge, through the battery. So if you have a really bad battery, this thing could put out as much as 170 volts. And uh, that doesn't feel too nice, but it can wake up dead batteries whenever, where a constant voltage charger will not do so. The switches are wired in such a way that I can vary the current going to the battery. So for tiny little batteries, like some uh, lithium ion batteries, I'll use a quarter of an amp. For a little bit bigger battery, if I want to just trickle charge something, I might use an amp. And for really big batteries that I'm wanting just to charge up fast, I'll, I can put these to uh, in series with one another and it actually adds up to give me one plus three plus six which is 10 amps of course and uh, that can charge pretty big batteries fairly quickly you can also charge banks of batteries with it because it's just looking for a voltage but there anyways you can research these for yourself i just wanted to let you know they exist this is your uh, this is called a capacitive battery charger this is the bridge rectifier you can build these out of anything or you can buy them for less than a dollar a piece I have no idea where I bought these I think off of flea bay uh, and they came out of China it cost me a couple of bucks for 10 of them and this is good I think to 30 amps but this will take AC mains on two terminals. I don't remember which ones and uh, Turn it into a pulsing DC current out of 
the other two terminals. And in these, there's just a, a series of diodes. You can look up the schematic. They're pretty simple. But uh, anyway, that's the heart of it, this and the capacitors. This was the first one I ever built. This is the granddaddy, you might say. These are stolen capacitors off of air conditioning units that didn't work. And these are diodes out of alternators that I've got put it, I've got made into a bridge rectifier. Not nearly as pretty, but just as effective. And a lot more dangerous too. Note the note the note. And this applies for all capacitive battery chargers. And this is why you don't see these for sale commercially. The meters indicate the battery has 12.1 volts in it, which is a little low. 12.6 is what we're looking for. These must not touch. Or it, it might become an IED. So we'll set this. And you can calculate how long it would take to charge a battery, but we're not going to mess with that. We'll give it a good six, eight hours, one more. There's an indicator light telling us that it's on. And I am going to come over here and get a shot of the meter. Bennett, if you will hold these on there, I just want to show how this goes up. I'll flip the switch for medium charge, three ounce. And you can watch it slowly climb. Let me give it a little bit more. <coughs> Let's see if it's slowly, slowly climbing up. When it slowly climbs up like that, that usually indicates that the battery is probably still in pretty good shape. Oh yeah. Don't build one of these. Or do this at home. Bad idea. So the battery is charged eight hours and had several hours to rest, so any surface charge has diminished so let's see if we were able to charge it up twelve point five eight that's pretty close to twelve point six I could have a little higher nominal voltage in the battery if there was a little residual surface charge in there, you know, 13 volts or more. 12.6 volts is fully charged for a lead acid battery. Thanks for watching and remember, don't be a stranger.